Tipping the scales at an impressively modest 3,995 pounds, so just shy of 4,000 pounds, we have the 192 Freedom Express here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is an, if, if you're looking for a small, inexpensive, lightweight little couples camper, but you're a tall person or big person like me, I don't know that there's anything that fits that description better. Then we've got all kinds of fun stuff like Asdell, we got enclosed belly, we've got that nose cap. There's a lot going on here. This thing just keeps getting better the longer you look at it. I think one of the things that has led to the 192's like snowballing popularity, because this model just continues to be more popular, is the fact that with the slide closed, like it is right now, you don't lose anything. This RV is perfectly 100% functional with the slide closed. We could even flip down that hide-a-bed into sleeper mode if you wanted and still be able to walk through here. Um, and uh, little <laughs> Jody waving to me on the outside there. Little things like that, I think, have kind of contributed to this one's kind of rise and uh, to success and its, uh, its ability to stay there. But thankfully, when the slide opens up, you've got plenty of other good qualities to go with it. The slide out in this one really just serves to make it better. It just opens it up. It gives it that nice big breathing room that you're going to want for a little couple's getaway weekend. Now the sofa can fold down into a little um, grandkid guest bed if you're going to have, uh, you know, like one of the grandbabies over for a weekend. But mostly this is just, you know, for two people going camping. Now one of the first things I want to talk about in here is that this is taller inside. Freedom Express's do have a six foot nine inch interior clearance um, that so it's six foot nine linear all the way across they don't use the the vaulted bubble ceiling method um, this gives them uh, the same interior cubic foot of space but when the walls are taller ladies and gentlemen it means that the slide out can be taller it means that the shower can be taller for guys like me it, it means that the cabinets can be larger here in the kitchen area or anywhere, really. It means that we can have overhead shelving and a big window instead of overhead shelving or a big window and being better than or, I think most people will agree. So that extra three inches of interior height makes a big difference. But a tall, lightweight, those are two things that don't normally go together in the same sentence because tall usually means heavy. And heavy means not light. I mean, I, I know these are not drastic, uh, earth-shattering re revelations to you folks at home. I know you're not fools by any stretch. I mean, obviously, you're above average in intelligence. You've found our videos here, so you've got to have something going for you. <laughs> anyway, moving on. My point being here, back to, you know, reality land, is how do they do it? How do they have this thing under 4,000 pounds but be bigger? And the answer is the Asdell in the walls is a big part of that. We'll talk more about that as we go outside. Um... So notice too, we've got, uh, well, not only are we taller, before I get too far along, this is, when I said this is a big person friendly camper, it also has a 60 by 80 full length queen, not the short camp queen. So you've got a taller ceiling, taller shower, longer bed, but a little camper, this light and weight. I mean, that's a dynamite bundle of features right there, and we haven't even really got into anything else. So you see this table right here, kind of staring you in the face. This is a, uh, you can see the folding uh, elliptical base on it. What you can do with that, you can store it right under the foot of the bed here, or you can leave it home if you just don't need it. But what's nice about it is it's very stable because it has adjustable feet. You can use it like, uh, kind of like a floating island if you need it, or you can use it like your dining table over here by your sofa slash pretend theater seat. We'll come to this back in a minute. Um, you have the full length hanging wardrobes on both sides of the bed. There, aren't, there are no sharp corners there that are going to jab you when you roll over at night. you got nice breeze windows on both sides of the bed. And you even get an extra uh, vent up top here so that you have nice airflow there. Now, as, as long as we're looking up, I want to point out the fact you see that we have double row lighting. This thing has a really nice high intensity lighting package. Not just LED lights, but a high output LED. And unfortunately, I have to really stress little variances like that because they make a significant difference in the uh, the parts cost of an RV, which obviously affects the price tag. Now, a lot of brands started using these, but a lot of them also quit. And that's these cool little dual element LED sort of like reading light, night lights. You tap it once, we get a blue reading light, but then you touch and hold it and wow, there we go. Nice bright white light. 
All of our cabinetry, and notice an overhead cabinet, not an overhead shelf, but all of our cabinetry is pocket screwed, meaning it's lumber core. It's not a particle board cabinet that's been stapled together because you can't use screws to hold together sawdust cabinetry. Uh, our cabinetry, again, is three inches taller because we do have that taller ceiling, and I love that extra long crank out jowlessy window there for the kitchen. Gives you lots of visibility of your campsite, especially when you are sitting on the sofa. Take a look at this, it's not an accident. Directly across from the sofa, right at eye level, bang, we have this big window where you can see right outside. Um, the TV is on a swing arm, so if you want to make this TV pivot around so you can see it from the sofa, you can see it at bed, you can. Uh, DVD Bluetooth player. All of our countertops and even that portable tabletop that we looked at, they're thermal foil, and you'll see this in the bathroom too. Um, it is a sealed edge pressed membrane. Water can't penetrate in there and cause problems for you. Um, what's cool about that is it allows them to use that recessed uh, style stove right there. And this is one of those uh, updated stoves at the time of this filming that has those little LED night light knobs. During uh, the day, they just kind of look sort of neat. And actually, the blue LEDs on those lights kind of tie right into the Ocean Breeze uh, interior decor package that they have in these Freedom Expresses very nicely. But at night, if you kick that button on, it's just enough to be able to see, to like get to the bathroom or get outside the camper or something like that without really disturbing your partner. It's not too bright. Um, I do like that we have good drawer space here. You have three of these plywood boxed full extension drawers. So again, plywood, not particle board. That's been just kind of sticker wrapped together. Um, they don't waste any ounce of storage in here. They can. And then... We have the good old Coachman Utensil Drawer. That's a not terribly creative name I came up with a while ago. I sort of said it as a joke, and it kind of stuck. I've noticed people come in asking which campers have the Utensil Drawer, and they pause and say it like that. And I think it's, it's just kind of funny that something that I said sort of as a goof is something that I hear people asking for at camper shows now. Isn't that kind of hilarious? But what's neat is the inside outside uh, function this has. So you, you've got the perfect place here. You don't have to waste, or not, not waste, but you don't have to occupy one of these drawers with your fork, spoons, knives, etc. because you have a perfect dedicated spot to that. Some people go, why does it have the slot? And that's because it wraps around the kitchen sink. It's the best use of space under a sink I've ever seen. But what's kind of cool is you want to go outside for picnic time, you can just remove that insert and take all your silverware out of doors. No sweat. This is a stone cast sink, not a plastic sink. If you do the wedding ring test, you can hear that's not plastic. It is rated for up to 500 degrees of exposure, meaning uh, you can pour the hottest scalding boiling water in there you want to because water boils off before 500 degrees. So you, you can't really screw that thing up. Um, and, uh, you know, it can't have rust spots like stainless because it's not metal. Hey, how about that? The... Storage doesn't really quit there, though. They really didn't waste anything right here next to the entry door. You've got a very nice pantry space, too. Uh, so, I mean, you can really pack this sucker up. And, again, the fridge is very easy to get to. And this is actually magnet-friendly. That is a metallic insert on that door right there. The uh, bathroom, easy to access when you're outside. Nothing in this camper is necessarily bigger than it has to be, and everything is full function. We do have that porcelain bowl on that foot flush. Remember, we do have a taller shower here. And between that skylight, the, the light colors and everything in here, you can see that I don't even have the lights on, and it's, it's plenty bright in here. Um, more of that thermal foil countertop stuff I was telling you about down there. We do have a full medicine cabinet with mirror. Um, and this is something I like. We do have the easy, like, paddle, slap them up slap them down kind of switches for our lighting so that if you're like me and you're trying to slap around in the dark it's easy to find that switch now over here this is just a quick little fold down sleeper sofa um now you can't do a full-on uh like high to bed here because this slide doesn't actually go all the the way to the floor because that's where the wheel wells are located this has to be like that but that's also part of the reason this is a very lightweight and carpetless floor plan. You can see this is easy cleaning and carpetless. That is a bonus side effect of this style of slide system. Now, when you do need it again, you can just simply grab this and fold it down and there you go, grandkid, although you're going to want to fold that armrest down or else it's going to be mighty uncomfortable at night. And we do have pleated shades for all our blinds. Um, and that little coachman clock, I talk about this all the time and people are like, really? But... We have these coming missing off a lot. People love that Coachman clock. I don't even know what it is. I can't tell you why. It doesn't make sense to me. It's not a particularly fancy object or anything like that. But people really have a thing for those. 
So I think it's the combination of some really good kitchen storage, some decent prep space, a nice big feel, and the ability to be towed by so many vehicles and fit into so many budgets. Um, you know, a short camper like this, a small camper on a tandem axle tows nicely. It just, it checks, it hits a, <laughs> it checks a lot of things off the list, I guess. It, it hits a lot of really big marks and it continues to check those off as we step outside. I've kind of said for the last couple years, and I still feel, I don't think Freedom Express gets the credit it really deserves in the lightweight world. Um, I th they have built a very unique product here, and they were way ahead of the curve by several years on a lot of features. Um, like this massive 42 cubic foot front storage space area here. This is like, uh, th this is the lion's share of a three quarter uh, ton pickup truck bed in storage down here. They were doing this thing way before a lot of brands were. And it's something that a lot of brands have kind of copied them on. And I, I, I don't think a lot of people realize that you a lot of things like this, like this massive front storage, you're seeing a lot more brands include outdoor picnic tables now. And it was really Freedom Express who just kind of made that a thing. They made it a mainstay. And they've, uh, I, I also, I do want to point out too, I, I, I hate to jump topics, but as long as I'm here, you see these uh, welds right here? You see how that's double-sided vertical welded? That is something that not every brand will do in an area that's not considered structurally load-bearing, meaning like under your bed, like we are right here. Now, <clears throat> Two adults don't nearly put the stress and strain on something that the entire structure will twisting down the road. So there's a lot of brands that will say, well, we can just single bead weld that and save a little bit of time and labor. Freedom Express, you notice, they don't do that. They do it all the way, everywhere, every time. And that kind of stuff, it, it kind of, it makes a difference to me. That's just extra stuff I see them do. So... You know, your inside table being waterproof, you could bring it out here, but you don't need to because this includes its own table. That's just that's just part of the package. And I don't have the power on right now, but this does have a full length LED light strip that runs uh, the entire uh, length of this thing here. And if you do want a little sortable polar, or portable panel, you got a prep plug right here. Alliteration aside, I seem to be able to, uh, to not, <laughs> I was gonna say unable to speak, but I was unable to say it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> And again, doing everything that matters. Like we got the simple magnet latches here, but again, look at the size of that baggage door. You want to get those nice zero gravity folding chairs. You don't want to be relegated to just bag chairs. You can do it on a Freedom Express. Their uh, three-quarter nose cap on here, it is heavy duty rugged stuff, cousin. I mean, you can walk up here and just, you can thump on these. You can't hurt it. I mean, it doesn't even flinch. They are strong. They are, uh, you know, contoured so that they will maintain their strength um, and rigidity, even when getting blasted by headwinds, when you're getting passed by a semi going down the road. It is slicker than snot right here. Slick as a skateboard trick. Now, you might notice something a little different on these. A lot of people say, oh, why don't they have spare tires? You just missed it because you're not look, uh, used to looking for it under the tongue area right here. So why do they put it there? Well, a couple reasons. One, it's a little more shielded from the sun. It's going to get a little less sun exposure, so it's a little less inclined to dry rot. But two, um, it doesn't occupy the rear bumper, so that if you do choose to like throw a bike rack on the back, you can. Um, there are pluses and minuses to doing things like that, but the, the fact is you can do it here. And uh, three, it helps with load equalization. Weight in the front of the camper tows better than weight in the back of the camper. And a little camper like this, you are in no danger of this exceeding the, the payload capacity of your vehicle. Now there's gonna be a couple things, like we threw the power tongue jack on this. We threw the uh, rear ladder on the back of this thing right here. Um, there's different decors available on the inside. The one we have in stock might be a lighter color. This is the darker color. So keep little things like that in mind. Um, Again, short wheelbase, or I guess, you know, short length, but tandem axle will make this thing tow extremely well. And I do like the all uh, centralized nature of that hookup station right there behind those tires, right next to your sewer outlet. It's just a really master class executed floor plan. Everything being where it needs to. Um, the uh, roof, you can walk all over the roof. They actually do a very interesting hybrid roof construction on these. They've kind of combined the best of both worlds. So you've got aluminum framed laminated walls. Well, a lot of people get confused by the fact that Freedom Express uses a five inch arched wooden roof trusses. Why do they use wood in the roof and aluminum in the walls? It's a very fair question. Um, the 
reason they do that is because this is intended to be a strong trailer. And wooden roof trusses are really well proven in cold climates to be able to like have a really big heavy snow load on top of this thing and not fall apart. Because wood can deflect and then return to shape and have really no problems as a result. Wood can bend. Aluminum can't. If aluminum gives at all, it's done. It's gonna stay there. It needs help to go back to shape. And frankly, like if you dent an aluminum can in your hand to pop, I wondered where I left that TV box, dummy. There it is. If you dent an aluminum um, pop can, or I'm sorry, soda, um, in your hand, if uh, you'll never really get all the crinkles out. Well, that's kind of the same concept. The uh, awning, they put the biggest awning on this thing they could. It's got excellent awning coverage. So you have uh, you know that going for you. Again, the, uh, the ladder is optional. But again, little detail stuff like they don't cut corners. Um, I see brands do this all the time. They'll go with like just a single step on a model like this. And uh, granted, they're the dollar cheaper cutthroat brands, but there's reasons they're a dollar cheaper. But when you have to bring along a two-step stool instead of just having a two-step on your camper, what did you really gain? What's the benefit? Instead of being convenient, now you have to waste storage space. You don't have to do that here. You're also getting the nicer, bigger grab handle on this thing standard. And um, before we start talking about Asdell, because that's a very big topic in and of itself, and we've done videos just on Asdell if you're curious. I might leave a link to that at the end of the video. But um, your little uh, outside grill station right here, this is an option. Um, and uh, so it is possible you'll find one of these laying around somewhere that just doesn't even have that little door on the side. But what's great is it, it kind of it hides under the kitchen cabinetry. It's there when you need it, gone when you don't. But what's also cool is when you do decide it's grilling time, just like um, that uh, the utensil drawers uh, floating insert, this is just free floating. It doesn't have to sit there. That's just a nice little storage location for it. But even this little guy is magnet latch. Just everything is done. Outside TV hookup even. You know, they're doing all kinds of stuff here. But let's talk Asdell. Let's talk Asdell. Where you can see it. You can see it right here. That's that white line right here. That is layer right below the fiberglass. So what is this stuff? Why do you care if you don't already know? Asdell is a replacement for a Luon wall panel. It is lighter in weight. It is not lower in cost. Asdell is a significantly more, about seven times more expensive than Luon on a sheet. But um, it's basically a resin. It's primarily melted pop bottles. It is lighter in weight. Um, it can't rot, mold, mildew. It basically makes the wall water repellent instead of potentially water absorbent. I've got samples of, an, uh, of a Freedom Express wall inside where they took the wall chopped it into little cubes and submerged it in water for 60 days. It didn't delaminate. Six, zero, 60 days. That's terribly impressive to me. Um, you know, because sometimes the slightest amount of water can really wreak havoc in something. But this is built to be able to withstand disaster. Now you still <laughs> you still need to maintain this, guys. Don't be silly. It's not that there's no such thing as a maintenance-free camper. I don't care what kind of luxury class car you buy. You're going to have to do certain things to take care of it. An RV's uh, no different. Did you like how I'm using the force to close that door back there? Kylo Ren's got nothing on me. That kid's a punk. Anyway, my point here is that it is lighter weight. It is uh, massively water resistant. It's also uh, a little bit more sound deadening, so it'll be a little quieter in your Freedom Express. It also has a little higher R value. Nothing significant, but man, don't you want to take what you can get? Take anything you can get. I don't care if it's hot, cold camping, whatever. And this, by the way, I didn't show you, but it does have an enclosed heated underbelly. That is also standard. So, I've explained a lot of reasons why this is a really good one for you. If you like it, it's on wheels. I don't care where you live. I don't care if you live on the West Coast. I've put Freedom Expresses staring at the Pacific Ocean from my Southern Michigan dealership. We make deals happen. We are one of the, well, we're the largest standalone dealer in the state of Michigan. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're not a big chain store. We're just a mom and pop shop. It's my family's place here. And we only do everything with the exception of hidden fees. Hit hitches, pieces, parts, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, uh, everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.